quick tip. Uh, I took Linux off of the PowerBook and I put uh, OS X Tiger on it, 10.4, after update 10.4.11. Um, and I only used about half the hard drive because I was going to put Linux on the other half of it and dual boot, but then I decided I didn't really feel like doing that and I was running out of space because the only the drive in it is just a 24 gig SSD and I didn't think I would need that much space, but I started installing a bunch of games. Uh, video to come soon after this. Installed a bunch of games and quickly ran out of space. So I was like, oh, I'll just resize the partition and use the whole drive. Can't do that. Can't do that in, uh, in Tiger. Um, I could probably update to 10.5, regular Leopard, um, and maybe I could do it from there, I'm not sure. But I'm running Mac Classic thing 9.22. 9 Mac, whatever that classic thing is called. So you can run old Mac applications. Uh, I don't think that works in 10.5 not positive. Um, anyway, so I couldn't resize in disk utility the GUI version, GUI version, if you want to. Um, and I couldn't, well, you, you can resize, but it'll delete the partition, recreate it so you lose all your data. And I didn't feel like redoing everything that I had just done all day or, or the last couple of days, um, even though it wouldn't have been that difficult. So I tried to boot in single user mode and use the disk util uh, utility thing, command line, um, and there's a bunch of tutorials out there for resizing partitions, enlarging partitions, and it doesn't work, once again, on Tiger. So I thought about burning a 10.5 disk to see if I could use the disk utility in the installer, uh, and I did, and I used one of my last dual layer DVDs up, and it failed like halfway through, so I was like, okay, I could try that again, but it might fail again, so I'm not going to do that. Downloaded uh, this program, iPartition. Uh, you can make a bootable disk with it. Uh, I think there's version 3.2 is the last one that you can use with Tiger installs. Uh, so I downloaded that, made a bootable disk. It finished fine, but the machine won't boot from it. It gets all the way to the end and then turns into the blue screen where you're expecting the desktop to come up and then it just reboots. So that didn't work. Ah, uh, and I. Googled uh, this and that and just couldn't find a proper answer. And then I thought, wait, I'll use target disk mode. So you boot up holding T, of course, just like any other other uh, Apple, I believe, or they're all the same. Boot up holding T and it comes into this. Got the Firewire thing floating around. Target disk mode. So I've got a Firewire 400 cable running all the way to this, which is my other Hackintosh laptop. Or I should just say it's my Vostro 1500. Uh, it's got a bunch of crap on the desktop because I never really finished. I never play with it either. Anyway, uh, and what do you know, using the target disk mode, it shows up right there, 24 gigabyte, just a 24 gig SSD in there. There's my partition, OS 10, and I just resized it. It used to be half, half of it, about 11 and a half gigs or so. Drag it down, hit apply, boom. All done. Obviously, this is running Yosemite. Um, I'm sure that would work for any any version of OS X on, a, on another computer that is capable of resizing partitions as you want. Uh, not positive, but it worked over here. So now I'm going to sh shut this off and reboot that and see if my partition is in fact the right size. So I'll be right back in three, two. So far so good, it's booting, it's booting. Shouldn't take that long. Oh, sorry for talking so long, so, so long, so fast. Uh, trying to get a lot said in a short amount of time. And this camera's about to run out of battery power, of course, because I don't actually charge it. I just put it on the charger for like two minutes and call it good. And hopefully that's enough for me. Come on, come on, come on. Another side note while this is booting, uh, I was going to make a clone of the drive in there onto this hard drive. But it was taking forever and I don't have any patience, so I decided to just say screw it and attempt it. So far it's still loading. I don't remember it taking this long before. I'm getting a little scared. Um, worst case scenario, I have to reinstall OS X and reinstall like 15 games. Oh boy, it's not that big of a deal. But I kind of want this to work. Oh, oh, I got a blue screen. Blue. Mouse. Got a mouse. 
I wonder if it uh, was doing the disk check and stuff. That's one thing I didn't do. Should I have done that? Repair disk permission permissions? No, I don't know. I don't know. It's getting scary. Well, it uh, didn't go anywhere, so I booted up to the Tiger install disk, and I'm repairing it. Repairing the volume. Set it out of invalid volume header. One HFS volume repaired. Reboot. Trying again, trying again. Oh, oh! Yeah! It's back! Alright, let's go to, uh... Well, I'll just do it. Get info. Hold on. Need two hands for this. There we go. Capacity 22 gigs. Yay! All right. So, what do we learn here? <laughs> uh, yes, I resized my Tiger partition. We're using another computer that was Yosemite. Target disk mode on the PowerBook. Uh, except it screwed it up somehow. So I had to boot from my Tiger disk and repair the drive. And now it's totally fine. So yeah, thanks for watching.